this isn't your grandma's bus. You know, this is real innovative technology that really works to tailor public transportation options to the communities they're in. Climate change is the defining environmental challenge of our generation, so it's time for America's transportation policies to step up and be part of the solution. This report, Reinventing Transit, is only 11 case studies of innovative examples of transit across the United States, and it's only the beginning. OmniLink is, uh, is what we refer to as a, a flex route type of transit system. And it differs from traditional and conventional transit systems because the buses don't um, confine themselves to a particular route and a particular schedule. So now I'm, I'm going off route to pick up. Uh, the buses are able to deviate off the route by as much as three quarters of a mile. I use it every day, Monday through Friday, taking them to school and grocery shopping and doctor's appointments. Without the service, we wouldn't be able to get around. I was very pleased with it because we were moving down the shoulder, the bus was moving, traffic was at a standstill, and here we are getting close to our destination. Yeah, I've been taking the bus for three years now. I've been living without a car, and buses going on the shoulder are much faster than sitting in the traffic. Transit can be fast, it can be reliable, it can be comfortable. All things that people are looking for to get out of their cars. Well, I can get to work faster than taking my car. I think it's the way for the future. We're standing at the uh, start of the uh, North Hollywood Orange Line station, and it takes subway riders and brings them on to a bus rapid transit system uh, that goes through the east-west portion of the San Fernando Valley. We have a transponder on the bus that communicates with the traffic signal, and it shortens the duration of red lights and extends the duration of green lights. From an environmental standpoint, our program's huge. Our Vanderbilt project has two benefits. It helps out people in the community who would otherwise not get to work, but it's helping the air we breathe. For the workers in the field, it's marvelous. Transit is not just for big cities anymore. It's for the suburbs, it's for rural areas, it's for sprawl. It is absolutely a dream project for this city. Uh, it's as convenient as a rail system, but it's much uh, cheaper to build and put in place, and the community loves it. It's free, it saves gas. I think overall it's just a, a great service because sometimes you'll be downtown, you know, and you just need to get to point A to point B in a short time. We can create places where people will have choices about how they travel, where we reduce our dependence on imported oil, and we create jobs. These new innovative transit projects can ensure that taxpayers get more bang for the buck. And now it's time to roll up our sleeves and make some progress. We have a time of tremendous opportunity here in America.